just go ahead and search out my uh, YouTube channel. So it's go get yours. And yeah, that's right. Nice one, Wi-Fi. Yes, just randomly turn off TV box. Just turn the Wi-Fi off. Wi-Fi's fighting against me. Hello guys, welcome back to the returning subscribers and if you're new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell notification option to stay updated on all my new uploads too. Today I got my hands on this AlphaWise A8 Android TV box. AlphaWise are a reputable tech company that produce Android tablets, keyboards, TV boxes and a vast list of tech. This particular Android TV box today that I'll be unboxing wouldn't be possible without thanks to GearBest.com. They have some unique tech and gadgets with affordable prices and I would advise everyone to go and check them out within the link in the video description. And well, anyway, let's go ahead and see what we have. Outside the box, everything is kept minimal. It just states that it's a smart device here in the bottom right hand corner, with addition to a couple of stickers to the side, stating that this A8 TV box has a 2GB memory and a 16GB storage. Inside the box, we have the covered AlphaWise TV box. This comes in a sleeve. And I will open this momentarily. Let's just place it to the side just for now and see what we have first. Okay, we have a quite common but pretty decent organized remote control with a few functions like media center, browser and mouse button too. This remote control is powered by two AAA batteries which are not supplied. We have a UK 5 volt power adapter, one HDMI connector cable, a basic user manual setup guide, Always good to give it a little read. And finally, the AlphaWise Android TV box itself. Looking closely at this AlphaWise TV box, first of all, this A8 TV box looks superb. With its fingerprint scuff-free soft matte black casing, chrome lettering and edge lining detail. Ooh, nice. Underneath to the bottom, there's lots of visual air vents. With enough surface distance thanks to these four rubber feet for cooling the internals down. This is compact and the case is of a good size. To the rear we have multiple port connections for different possibilities including one USB 2.0 slot, a SSDIF audio out, an AV output for outputting analog audio video, which if you have relatives say of the older generation with older TVs makes it more compatible with those TVs that do not have HDMI inputs. Yeah boy, yeah boy, gotta give me Android TV hooked up boy, right through the AV line, nigga the nigga the Mac and left us over wide. In addition, there is also a networked LAN and a 5 volt power connector. To the right hand side there's a TF memory card slot where the reset button is located to the back. The slot is expandable up to 32 gigabytes, which will require you to insert the card into the box before turning the TV box on as this card may not be read properly. To the right hand side of the slot there's three more USB 2.0 ports which are ideal for a USB games pad, wireless keyboard, mouse, memory stick and a webcam too. Hooking up the box via the HDMI, the AlphaWise A8 powers up immediately with an indicator of this with the soft blue light to the front. During the first short setup and boot, we are greeted with a pretty standard launcher menu. Everything is easy to use with the large icons with some that are customizable to the bottom, a navigation bar to the top and you can change this launcher if need be within the settings. Within the app menu, you have pre-installed apps like Apple Tide TV, which you can download other TV streaming apps. You have the calculator, Google Chrome, a screen mirroring app, File Explorer, Netflix, Play Store, Kodi, YouTube, and we have the video center. Let's go ahead and just try the Apple Tide TV for now. 3D and 4K video is described as being supported with this A8 Android TV box. But using the Showbox app, which I downloaded using the Apple Tide TV store, well video playback was ok in HD. However, it does show signs of some breaking during 4K video playback. Also, the lips didn't sync the sound on some videos which I also played. I hope in the near future that an update to this feature will solve that TV problem. This AlphaWise TV box is running Android 8.1. It's not updatable just yet, but maybe within the near future. YouTube on this box is the Android version which has no problem playing HD playback. 
and the same could be said with the Kodi Media Center 2. TV streaming using the MobDraw app, which I downloaded, had no problem streaming various TV channels. Okay, having a Rockchip 3229 quad-core processor and a Mali 400 MP2 GPU accelerator, well, some games played alright. Games like Roblox played okay with a keyboard and mouse plugged into the TV box. Asphalt Airborne 8 played okay but refresh rate was poor and laggy. Don't be expecting to play PUBG as it's not compatible and in whole I find that intense games isn't really possible to play smoothly on this A8 Android TV box. It's good to note that Bluetooth is absent from this A8 TV box. You will not be able to connect a wireless gamepad, well unless you buy a gamepad with a wireless dongle that is, maybe a USB type. In addition to this I'll try my best to include some of those products within the video description too. So use an internet browser, ok it's just yeah ok. You're able to have a few windows open at the same time and it's just good enough for some basic tasks. Again don't be expecting an i7 PC or laptop type performance with this AlphaWise A8 TV box. For instance testing this box out using the Geekbench marker, it was fully concluded that the test score was a single core rating of 349 and a multi core rating of 731 which is a shock to the system really. With these scores it was kind of surprising to see and I thought it would have had a better a result. Nevertheless, I think this TV box is good for basic streaming and light gaming. Maybe to update an existing children's TV that is without a smart or Android TV function. So, it's about that time, once again, what would I give this AlphaWise A8 TV box a rating out of 10? Drum rolls, please! Well, I fought hard, and I think I've got to give this TV box today a rating of 6 out of 10. I will be linking this A8 TV box within the video description down below with other suggested TV boxes that I've reviewed in the past. So go ahead and check them out and as usual guys, please share this video wherever possible, smash that like button, subscribe, making sure you hit the bell notification option to stay updated on all my new uploads. I hope this video helped and I'll see you over on my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace!